What's popular YouTube? Another day, another demo. Coach Lau up to bat. All right. Who the hell is Coach Lau? You might be wondering. Or who? <laughs> no, you know who Coach Lau is. Who the hell is Doja? You might be wondering. Doja is a player for the Mustang crew. He was this guy. I mean, some of you might not know this, but Doja was at one point in contention, him and Get Right, the best players in CSGO. Two of the best players in CSGO, bar none. He was one of the original lurkers in this game. Him and Get Right used to have epic battles. I mean, when back in the day, it used to be like long doors on Dust 2. One guy would be on one side. One guy would be on the other side. They both know they're there, and they're just spraying at each other, like through the door, trying to lurk through. Like they, that, was, that was how this game used to work. It was so funny. We should go back and watch this super old demo. That might be interesting, but Doja, he's still playing. He's 32 years old. He fell off, you know, Get Right has had a, a pretty big fall off as well, but you know he's Doja's not even on a relevant team here, um, on uh, on Mustang Crew. But someone someone requested it. Shout out to Noto for requesting it. Thought we'd take a look. He had a pretty good map here. I mean his stats overall in these pa in his past maps are not not incredible. So maybe it would have been good to look at um, one of the weaker performances. But hey, let's give let's give Doja some flowers. Take a look at a nice performance from him right here. Um, with a, a sick map uh, on train versus Abez and see what happened that went well in the second half. CT side train this time around uh, called Zara, Zantaris, Glaive, Sensitivity here right on the 2.0. Who's the best player on 2.0 at 400? You let me know in the comments. And look at this. You don't have an excuse. This guy, can, if this guy can play on 1920, okay, he's not fragging super hard, but if he can play on 1920, so can you, okay? He's bringing us the wonderful 1920 by 1080 demos. An absolute saint. He's looking for the content. He's trying to get coach loud. Look at how beautiful this game looks. I've been playing on 1610 recently. So, um, even like looking at this after like watching all these different reses is so strange. But let's see. How does Doja run it on Nuke? He actually is a big part of this comeback with the 16 kills in this half. Off the 5-10 half. Bet you anything they win this pistol right here. Okay, well, I said anything. I didn't say what, so you, I don't have to give you shit. Tell me how they lost the pistol, and they win this map. Show us how it's done. Very cute little crosshair. It'd be an interesting question to know if Doge has always played native. Or I don't think he has. And yeah, the X God, former Gambit player. But yeah, it goes so much farther back than that. All the way back to 2013. And again, it was this uh, tie up between NIP and Very Games Existence's team and uh, Doge's roster. And it was actually always um, Barry Games to come close to beating NIP, but never doing it. And it was actually Doja to finally beat NIP for the first time on LAN to end the 87-0 and streak, if I have history correct. I, was it Virtus Pro was their actual roster? Or something like that. Virtus Pro, Astana Dragon, something like that. My memory's not failing me. Back in those days, man, the game was very different. Sometimes I go back and watch the old casting because the casting from that long ago was so... It's re it really nostalgic because, you know, we watched all those games live. But just he hearing the different level of enthusiasm and how everyone wasn't as polished of a caster and stuff. There's a lot of charm to watching those old games. Really, really fun to watch. And also just seeing how people used to play. Such a simplistic style of CS. Now everyone's smoking and flashing for each other. Ugh. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Crossfires? I don't want to hear it. Yeah, the mechanics look pretty decent so far. Seems very comfortable. I mean, some of these games can be tough from a mechanical perspective. I mean, these players are all burgeoning on 
top level professional play. There's not much difference here between these guys and some of the best guys out there. It's mostly about the team aspect that's separating them. And those just aiming really low sometimes, <laughs> though. Straight up into the floor. And again, he was famous for being a hard lurker. It was one of the positions that... Oh, well, that's an important round to win. It was one of the positions that quickly got dispelled from the game. Like, everybody who was a very, very hard lurker, happy, get right, doja, they... The novelty of their the way they played maps wore off quickly. It worked extremely well at first, but then they became too obvious, and then their name tags became too valuable. Oh, you killed him? Oh, that means there's four players on the other side of the map. Um, oh, you killed Doja? I guess they're going B this time. You know, like, it was just too much information when you had such a hard lurker. Now you've got lurkers. I mean, you've got lurkers like Blame F on Nuke. you got, you know, Rops playing B on Dust 2. Um... But they're not, they're mostly just standard positions. It's positions where they're not easy to kill. They're not necessarily like walking out into sites. They can play for themselves, but they're not there to just like hard flank you. Oh wow, Doja, not scared at all. This can be a good position to get someone just running out sideways through a smoke to try to trade. But he's not worried at all about the T-Con walkout. It's actually someone, holy moly. That seemed very, very unsafe. <laughs> I was so worried for him. He wasn't scared at all. A bit risky to just run up kind of through the middle of the trains. And yeah, so for him, this is a very inefficient setup for the CTs because we have the op looking at Ivy, a player here looking at Ivy and the guy yellow who doesn't trust any of his teammates. And yeah, it ends up netting them a kill all focusing down um, that spot, but there was way too much tension on that one angle. And not enough credence for the other choke points. It was like they were all in danger, but not communicating. Like if you, like for example, they had that one back Ivy, the op could have rotated around and Doja could have sat back five and spotted Ivy. Or Doja could have moved to a new position and let Orange spot Ivy, just the walkout. Or the op could have taken an aggressive angle and cleared it out, and then they all wouldn't have had to watch it. There's a few ways to deal with it, but I think the worst one was the one where they're all just staring at it, hoping someone comes out. what it is just love watching these demos just chill watch the demos pick up on small things and they use a hell of a lot of grenades for that which can be a bit risky does just use mostly like almost his full kit here there's no execute just yet don't know if anything's coming outside or not Okay, so let's see how the eye rota rotations come in now. So Doja knows his teammate is there watching it, and he looks like he's going to... Ah, I guess he's now worried about inside. Come spot the upper, maybe. So here's where you just tell your teammate what to watch. Like, I'm watching lower ramp. You cover upper, something like that. Oh, huge risk for the whole nade set to just go up there. But they got the info. Yeah, Nate sets down. <laughs> One of the only Nates that's left on the roster. Very awkward. These rotations, like, I think there's one in ladder, so. Mm, bad Z smoke. Very bad. Very good for Doja. Oh, well, you'd think it would be. Uh, oh, Tyler threw that badly on purpose, or could have been thrown badly on purpose. But he was ready. I think what's key there for Doja is sit in the smoke and don't move. 
Well, you don't want to sit in the smoke and go crack like that. I think he played it fine. He just didn't notice. I mean, I couldn't see either, to be fair. Maybe just a quick resolution change. <laughs> Okay, they lose IV control once again. Now pushing forward is not a bad idea, honestly. But they don't really have a safe way to get into T-Con. Oh man. This is so awkward. They're exposed to T-Con. Oh! <laughs> is he? Oh, he's got a deep angle in, actually. Okay, and they flash for the peak. He doesn't go deep, though. So they still they don't know if it's IV still. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. Okay, doubling up and going in for it. I think they just need to clear it properly. Or that, okay. This little off angle. Don't know how comfortable he doesn't seem like he thinks anybody else is there. Yeah. So it looks like it's the full on inner hit now. Okay, okay. Doja still got it. It's the keyboard movement. That's the dead giveaway. That's how you can tell someone how old someone is. But with Doja, you can't tell. Can't trick the trickster. No way he tries to go for that. You could have lost a round right there. No, you got to stick it, my friend. Well, I guess there'd be... Yeah, I mean, he, he had to stick it, but I don't know. That smoke is still up, actually. I was thinking if, if he sticks it, oh, man, he could have stuck it. Yeah, he could have stuck it. I mean, he still could have died, but that was probably his only chance of winning. Wait, you're telling me that they, they come back and win this game? I hope I read the score wrong. Oh, is this something that goes to OT, maybe? Let's go ahead and peep at the demo. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe that's what happened. Sometimes it isn't very helpful to watch people play perfectly, right? Sometimes you watch these pro demos and it's like, well, rotations are, you know, these are the... They've got picturesque rotations, uh, crosshair placement, aim, everything. What are they doing wrong? And it's very, very small advantages that we have to look for. But with some of the kind of mid-level competition or just like tier two or top level pugs, there's a lot, a lot of stuff to talk about. That's a pointless angle for Doja to hold. Really, his teammate isn't being covered, but it's all, it's all well and good. That position on the wall where he was, what I call Dennis. You can just see over the lip of the default plant onto the lower ramp. Nice angle to hold. I think we want to take a look at Rops and uh, Taco on this map. It'd be cool to contrast their play styles. This is like how, you know, this is like the FNX position here uh, behind the E box, not exposed to T-Con. Bit risky to hold it wide open like this, I would say. You know, you risk getting pre-fired. He's holding for the crouch peak. But it can be okay. If the other guy's buns. Or you're just goaded. If they're buns or you're goaded. Hold an angle like this. You cracked? If you're cracked, hold an angle like that. If you're not cracked, don't. 
I'll stop. I'm sorry. Oh, he's taking his time. Is there three there? Oh, tell me how. Tell me how, Doja. What is in the oatmeal? What goes in the oats? Why do you get off the bomb in that situation, man? Why do you get off the bomb in that situation? Oh my god. I don't understand. I don't understand the thought process. To, to go for a no scope? There's one second left. Those teammates win, right? Okay, they win this. Road to comeback. Here it is. I don't know why this is. This is way too much fun. Licking this up the low oh, shit, okay. <laughs> now it's like waking up to an alarm. A 10 a.m. alarm. Pure hell. <laughs> On the ladder. But it's always good to just, you know, stay active. You never know when you'll be able to see someone like that. Now you see sometimes, like, the way he's sitting sometimes outside the ladder. Just because it's a little, you see, oh, he's outside the ladder. It's a little bit dangerous, but it can be better to fight from there and not have someone just ready to drop on you when they hear you shooting someone that's econ. Nice. Trust in the sound. Oh, going all the way through. Is anyone here? No one at all. Nice. Okay. Gets the better Bialy. Another name we haven't seen in a while. Oops. Round quietly grinds to a halt. It must be incredibly frustrating to be like Bialy, play on a you know relevant team, playing for so much money up until a couple of years ago, and then just end up in the tier two like this, tier two, tier three. Oof, a little bit of a rough spray. It's, it's gonna happen, and the now the uh, round before OT. It's really cool to stand under the ladder here. I like how Dupree plays this sometimes. Um, I don't always aim for that side, but it's a it's a gamble. Yeah, I aim for like there. And sometimes people will jump across, try to bait your bullets, and then you'll run back, and they'll throw a nade at you, and then they drop, and then you get spammed down, and then you die. You smash your keyboard, uninstall, come back tomorrow, reinstall. No, oh, but they don't even do it. They decided to just run down, see what happens. <laughs> They're forcing him to fight, but he's cool with it. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> oh no. This is a 1v2 one. Oh my god, it is. He wins the 1v2. Alright, let's see it. La 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 yuka. Oh, the dynamic crosshair, I think. Oh, what happened there? Oh, that's the whole round. Okay. 
And we go into OT. Wata Guan in OT. Everyone rushes on these rounds after they lose a bunch. Damn, we took 50, 48 damage grenade. Tough. Dojo play sandwich scares the hell out of me. Watch for the sandwich run out. Ah, uh, and has to adjust down below. It's a tough duel to win. You don't even want to be the one to shoot the first bullet through the glass because it does like no, it'll do 50% less damage or something ridiculous. two in this spot. Oh, he thinks the ladder fake. Let's see if the read is good. Interesting. Good little read here by Doja. Uh, it might be a bit too late. Uh, that was a nice angle, actually. Pretty sick for any of these players to play with Dosha, get to learn. And you know they're always going to have like just a random standout performance just because they have it in them. I mean, I want to assume Dosha doesn't expect to play at a super high level or something for like a long time anymore. Like married now, you know, has had his fall off a while ago. I'm sure has money. He's got a good brand going on. I don't know. Maybe he does. Nothing playing it nice and slow. And we're going to do... Well, I mean, let's just see how the game plays out, right? We're already here. Why not? We're going to the next half. I want to say, let's skip ahead. Yeah, why not? Let's just go ahead and take a look, see what happens. So he's actually just shooting to hit the fallback as opposed to like where exactly the sound was, which is always a safe idea. I don't know how much damage he does, but we'll probably see. Whoa, what the fuck? And just malfunctioned. All right. The two in a row. They're getting close. Ooh, that's risky. 
Oh my god, yeah. That was a moment where he could have got off for sure. Definitely not where you want to be throwing your Molotov from while peeking upper. And I do win this, right? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, whoops. Oh, shoot, they lost. <laughs> I didn't even know they lost this. Wait. Oh, yeah, they did. Damn, they did lose. Oh, that's sad. After that big comeback, too. <laughs> I think you guys are watching this like, I already know he lost this. Loners, what are you talking about? All right, well, that's that's Doja. That was an interesting look at Doja. Um, I feel like he needs to bring his crosshair up a little bit, work on the sandwich, and maybe learn a few more nades. And I'll be back, dude. We'll get Doja versus Get Right again. We should have him 1v1 at long for all the marbles. But um, interesting, yeah. Not looking, you know, not seeing tons of promise, of course, but what what you know, what do we expect coming into this? I think in general is like that was a that was a flash in the pan performance as well. But it was it was cool to take a look at an old legend like Doja and see where they're at now. Still playing. Still hammering out the wins when they can find them. All right, uh, see you back here again tomorrow for another coach.